So these numbers just came out yesterday. U.S. unalivings hit an all-time high last year. Let's get into these numbers. About 49,500 people took their own lives last year in the U.S., the highest number ever, according to new government data posted on Thursday. The CDC, which posted the numbers, has not yet calculated the unaliving rate for the year, but data suggests that unalivings are more common in the U.S. than at any time since the dawn of World War II. There's something wrong. So... This is, this is touchy, and this is definitely a bad situation. Experts caution that unalivings can be complicated and that recent increases might be driven by a range of factors, including higher rates of depression and limited availability of mental health services. Now, this is the part I want to focus on for a little bit, but a main driver is the growing availability of pum pums. So what is the issue? We know that the string the ter the exponential growth of mass pum pums plus these unalivings are can be attributed to we we know what it can be attributed to but there are lots of people that are so focused on allowing just about anybody to get one no matter their mental capacity no matter their background people do not want certain folks to have any kind of restrictions and it is impacting folks. Now, who is it impacting? Let's take a look. Before we take a look at who is being impacted the most, look at this graph and how steadily it's climbed since the 70s. Look, look at this. Look at that sharp increase from the year 2000 up to now. This is quantifiable that something is wrong but people don't want to tackle the issues. What we still see from people are these cultural wars that are not helping anyone. This, this last sentence in this first paragraph is kind of surprising. For the first time, um, unalivings among black teens surpassed the rate of white teens, researchers found. And then this person is quoted saying, I don't know if you can talk about unalivings without talking about firearms. Are we ready to have this conversation as a society yet? I don't think so because you get so much pushback on even having basic conversations. Okay, so here are the numbers for the, the unalivings. The gray numbers, the gray graphs are the 2021 numbers. The um, purple numbers is 2022. Okay, if you look at the purple line for 2022, over 49,000 people overall took their lives. If you go down to the next column, the amount of males in purple is over 39,000. That right there is close to 80% of the people who took their lives were male. Now, if you look at the racial demographic or makeup of who has taken their own life, it happens to also be um, white people. So look at that number. 30, over 37,000 people who um, unalived themselves were white. Now, what is this saying to you? Who is typically the ones that are pushing for these, these laws, these pum pum laws? Who is it? Um, and they are the ones that are impacted the most by this. Um, now, the other numbers are still, you know, growing a little bit. And they should, we should be looking at them, but they are not like these numbers are pretty telling white males are typically the ones who have these, who has access. And they typically are the ones that are the mass, they are the ones responsible. So y'all need to see these numbers. When people jump onto women's posts talking about depression and all of this stuff, and we are going to die alone with a cat or whatever, the numbers tell the story of who is breaking down. And that is not a shot. That is a, that's just what we, what they should be talking about. But instead of talking about the issues that are impacting the men the most, they are overlooking these numbers, this data. Men need to focus on men, their mental health, their mental well-being, and what are they going to do to stop these people from getting 
these pew pews in their hands. Y'all jump in the comments. Tell me what you think.